Hello everyone, uh, I'm here with a video about something that I kind of came across and I was just messing around with some numbers as I guess any math nerd would do. Um, but yeah, I thought it was kind of interesting the way I was able to relate these mathematical constants and I got something out of it that was relatively accurate. So I wanted to show that to you and I'll let you take from it whatever you want. Maybe it's not that significant. I thought maybe it could potentially be, maybe if not now, perhaps later. So we'll see. First, a little background, the golden ratio. What is the golden ratio? Well, I'll show you. It's usually given by the Greek letter phi. So you have yourself a Greek letter phi and you have one plus square root five over two, which is approximately equal to 1.618033. You wouldn't think this is really that significant, but it turns out that this number is everywhere in nature. In fact, it's everywhere in the universe, right down to the orbits of the Earth relative to Venus and the other planets. Um, it's in flowers, it's in cell phones. Heck, it's even in this island right here that all this stuff is on. This island is in golden ratio. I measured it and I was like, seriously? Whoa. Anyway, so that's some background about the golden ratio. So one day I was messing around with some numbers and this is what I came up with. I said, well, if I take the golden ratio, this number right here, and I'll represent it with Greek letter phi, and I raise it to the power of itself, Okay, that gives me some number. And then if I, from this, if I subtract the golden ratio squared, okay, so do this, I did all this in a calculator, just messing around. And then if I go ahead and add to this pi, so I did this in a calculator and I came up with approximately this. 2.7, I believe it's 0 0.8. I will verify that in a second to see if that is actually correct. Okay, so it's not 0 0.8, it's actually 0 0.20. Zero. So this is supposed to be, here, let me just come over here and rewrite this. It's supposed to be 2.7, 0, 0.20, zero. 1623. Okay, so you're watching this and you're like, who cares? What does that even matter? Well, what I noticed is that this number, especially these two right here, was very, very close. This is really close to this number right here e to the first power. And this number is also very significant in math. And so what I thought was really interesting is that I took the golden ratio, raised it to its own power, raised it to itself, subtracted off the golden ratio squared, added pi, another extremely important number in math and physics, engineering, and I got about the golden ratio, I got about E. I got really close to E. Well, how close does this get to E? So the actual number E is given by this number right here. E to the first, which will give you the decimal, is 2.71828. And it also continues going. So the question I had for myself was, well, here's what I came up with. Here's the actual number for E. So how accurate is this approximation? Well, all you have to do is take the number that I got, divide it by this number, and I multiplied it by 100, and this is how accurate my formula that I came up with is to E. 99.4% accurate. So again, 
I don't know if this is actually going to be something significant. But the fact that I was able to come up with this level of accuracy using the golden ratio, subtracting the golden ratio squared and pi all in one formula, and I get almost, uh, I'll say really accurate, approximation to E, I think that's kind of cool at the very least. Now, I will say this. There are better approximations to E out there. I, I've seen approximations to E that are more accurate for sure. But the reason why I think this one is uh, more significant is because I use the golden ratio and pi multiple times all in one formula and I get a pretty good approximation. So tell me what you think, let me know. And maybe it's significant, maybe it's really just not, but at the very least I thought it was cool. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys soon, bye.